Hello everybody and welcome to the Chemistry 121 Supplemental Instruction Series of videos. In this video we're going to be doing a practice problem using Boyle's Law. The problem reads, a substance has a pressure of 0 0.50 atmospheres and a volume of 1 liter. If the volume is decreased to 0.5 liters, what is the new pressure? Now when you read this problem, you notice a couple of things. First of all, we have one pressure and we have two volumes. So this immediately tells us that we're going to be using Boyle's Law. And if you recall, that is P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Now the cool thing about this equation is that it's literally just going to be plug and chuck. But what we can do is rearrange this al algebraically so that way we can solve for what we're interested in. We know we have our initial pressure, which is P1, and we have both of the volumes, those two. We're interested in the new pressure, which is P2. So if we were to solve this for P2, it would simply be P1 times V1 divided by V2. So that means then that all we have to do is just plug in our numbers. We know that P2 is going to be the equivalent of the first pressure, which is 0 0.50 atmospheres, times the first volume, which is 1 liter, divided by the second volume, which is 0 0.50 liter. Okay, so if we were to solve this, we're going to find that P2 is going to be one atmosphere. Just doing the calculation. And that will be our answer for this problem. If a substance's temperature is lowered from 300 kelvins to 200 kelvins and has an initial volume of 1 liter, what is the new volume? Now if you notice, this problem is an example of Charles' Law because we have volume and temperature. And if you recall, the equation for Charles' Law is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. And obviously we can see in the problem that we have two temperatures, 300 kelvins and 200 kelvins, and a volume, one liter. So if we were to rearrange this problem to solve for V2, which is what the problem is looking for, we will say that V2 is equal to V1 times T2 divided by T1. And now it's just a plug and chug. We put our numbers in and calculate our answer. So V2 equals V1. Now if you notice here, is lowered from 2, so we know 300 is our initial temperature. So that would be T1 on the bottom. V1 is 1 liter, obviously. And T2, like we just said, 2, 200 degrees Kelvin. Divided by the initial temperature, which was 300. And we see that our temperature kelvins cancel out to leave us with liters, which is volume. And calculating this gives us... 0.67. Thank you, Kevin. 0 0.67 liters. It's nice to have a human calculator sometimes. And that's our answer. A substance has initial conditions of one atmosphere at 200 kelvins. What is the new pressure if the temperature is raised to 300 kelvins? Now if you'll notice, this problem is an example of Gay-Lussac's law because we have an atmosphere, a pressure, that is, and two temperatures. Now if you will recall, the equation for Gay-Lussac's law is this. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Now the, this problem is obviously interested in P2, the new pressure. So rearranging this equation geometrically, we get P2 equals P1 times T2 divided by T1. And obviously we have all of our numbers, so this problem just becomes a plug and chuck. P2 equals one atmosphere. times 300 kelvins divided by 200 kelvins. 
And if you notice, the Kelvins cancel out, leaving us with atmospheres, which is pressure, which is what we want in our answer. Calculating our answer will give us 1.5 atmospheres. A substance has initial conditions of 100 kelvins, 0.5 atmospheres, and 0.5 liters. What is the new temperature if pressure is raised to one atmosphere and the volume increased to one liter? Now this problem is an example of the combined gas law, which if you recall, the equation for the combined gas law is P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. And we can see that we have all of these in here. Temperature, pressure, and volume. And we change the pressure and the volume, and we're wanting to find the new temperature. So if we were to rearrange this equation algebraically, we will find, solving for T2, that T2 equals T1 times P2 times V2 divided by P1 times V1. And we have all of our values, so now we just plug in our numbers. T1 is 100 kelvins. P2 is our changed pressure, which is one atmosphere. V2 is our changed volume, which is one liter. And this is all divided by our initial pressure, which is 0.5 atmospheres, and our initial volume, which was 0.5 liters. And you will notice that our units cancel out. We get rid of atmospheres, and we get rid of liters to leave us with kelvins, our temperature, which is what we want for our answer. Doing the calculation will give us an answer of 400 kelvins.